I came here from Nicaragua when I was 13, I think, straight to Delhi City. One of my brother was, um, he was a member of this gang. And then I, uh, I just like it. I just like kick it with them, you know what I mean? Until I get to the point where I got into, I got really enrolled in it, like really enrolled into the, the gang life. It's really hard to get out. Once you're really used to your friends, to do this, to drink up, to, uh, to, to be with the ladies, to be the chingon, be the man, be, be tight, you know what I mean? Be, be, respect, be respected from everybody, from every, anybody, everybody from the hood. They see you as, a, as the man, you know what I mean? Some, someone tight, someone sick. Then you want to keep that reputation like that, you know what I mean? You don't want to go low. I went to juvenile for a lot, for like seven times. I got stuck in probation, dude, in and out of juvenile house. That's where I met the people within one time. My writing skills wasn't that good, so my first my first story I think I wrote was about it, it was in English, I mean in Spanish. I was just happy when when that like a couple a couple of week later it got published, and then uh, <clears throat> I just started writing. Went to this program called White Tech. I was there for well I was supposed to do six six months, but I did uh, 14 months because I kept messing up. It's like a drug program like for addicts. I was inside juvenile hall, and that was one of uh, one of one of my choices that they gave me. You know what I mean? They told me, you know what? You want to do a year in a group home, or you want to do this program? You get to go home. By being being sober and clean and sober, it helped me realize that I was uh, that that was in my life. Two things happened when I was locked up. Like one of my one of my friends from the same clique that I used to hang out with. They, they, um, he got stabbed. He was, he got, he got killed. Like, stabbed like a hundred, a hundred times. They, they stabbed him a hundred times. This guy is nature on a, he's nature on somebody from the hood. You know, from the same, same clique, he's nature on somebody. And then they, my friends, they were hella drunk. And then that night, they were like, man, you, you snitch on one of my, on one of my homeboys. And then stab him like crazy. They all doing time too. That's why, that's why all my gang, that gang. It's messed up, it's no longer, yeah, no longer around. In 1999, that's where I started working here. I started doing typing, folding the beats. Now I do, I do um, facilitations. I've been three, three, three juvenile halls. I'm in charge of translating the topics, like from English to Spanish, and then translating all the, um, the writings from kids that are writing in Spanish, from Spanish to English, and, um, and editing in Spanish, you know what I mean? And I, and I also do, um, I also type one of my units, which is Marine City, and sometimes I, I respond to pieces. There's people that they wanna get out of the gang, they don't know how. Every time somebody tell me something like that, I always show my arm, like I have a big, 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 big scar right here, and a scar right here, needle right here. And then I just tell them, this is what I got from, from, from being in the gang. Do you think you wanna, you wanna have something like this? Don't get cut up into that, cause it's really bad. Like it won't take it. Won't, it won't take. It won't take you nowhere. I've been out six and a half years. Yeah, without getting locked up for things I used to do. I just got tired of doing the things I used to do, and and, and um, showing everybody that I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be something. You know, I want a family, and and I want. I don't want to be. I see. I walk around the hood, and I see a lot of people drunk and you know sleeping on the floor, and and a lot of. Guys like my age, they over there on every Friday drinking and, and smoking. And well, what about the next day? They're broke. They don't have a car. They don't have. They don't go to school. They have a, sh a shady job. You know, they don't have anything. So, so my motivation, I think, is uh, is just wanting to be somebody. In my family, nobody, uh, nobody has gone that far yet. My little brother's going. It's going that way, but he, they haven't. My other brothers, I have like four more brothers, and they they haven't got that far. So, so yeah, I don't. My mom, my mom doesn't pay. My my mom never paid. My my parents never paid for anything for for my school for for my education. They know I'm doing something, but I don't. It's like me. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't let them know. But I, I let I let, my, I let my mother know who I'm really close to. But uh, they don't really they don't really understand. They wouldn't understand if I tell them. 
yeah, about these things, but they know I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going. Good. They, they know I'm going. I'm going the good direction, and, and that I'm gonna get something. It's been taking me a long time being in, being at City College because you know, because of my my exchange thing. But uh, but uh, I'll get there. Well, I'm about to graduate from uh, from City College. Well, I would have I would have graduated a long time ago, but the fr I, I decided at the beginning. I decided to be a mechanic because my dad is a mechanic. So I took, I spent like four semester over there taking all, all, of, all of the other mechanics uh, uh, classes, took them all. But then I realized that it, that wasn't me. I wanted to do something else. So I went back, I went back to school. And now I want to do something else. I've been working for the B for about six years, something. Since I've been working for the B for a long time and, and I've been doing translations, I wanted to become uh, either an interpreter or a translator. Like, I took Spanish classes. I'm really good in Spanish, and I'm working. I'm working with my English, but uh, it's getting better. And, and, and I like translation. In order to get a job, man, in order to succeed, you gotta be patient. You gotta be patient, and you have to. You, you want. You want to show people you're gonna. You're gonna get some somewhere. Because I remember when I came to the beat, they would pay me six, six to seven dollars an hour. You know what I mean? And started doing started doing the basic stuff, typing and uh, typing and sometimes doing the mailing. But throughout the throughout the years and throughout the time and all this stuff, you know what I mean? Some guy, there was this guy who was doing the translations at that time, but he left. He um, he quit and then he left. Then he gave me the opportunity to be to take his place. You know, from there, I started going to workshops. I started doing this and that. So. I made it. I made it to the point where, where I went from zero to, to ten. You know what I mean? And, and I don't want to go further because that that's that's where I want to be. I, I like I like doing I like going back to juvenile hall, doing um, conducting these programs, these workshops, talk to, talking to kids one on one, talking to them, giving giving them advice. And I like I like the things I do too. I like the translation part. You know, I, it's gonna help me. It is helping me and it's going to be helping me in the future.